Hello, welcome back, welcome back once again. My name is Samuel Amrosonen. We are still going on with our file management skills. In this video, we are going to continue with the file extension visibility. In the previous video, we we'll have looked at creating the shortcuts, you know, gaining quick access to the files, creating folders, user folders location, and how to access the default storage location in our system. In this video, however, we are going to see how to show or hide file extension, plus many other things that you can do to manipulate your file and organize them properly in your system. So let us see how to actually see uh, the extension of our file or how to make it visible. So we are going to uh, use the same, <coughs> excuse me, use the same document we have created. Remember, desktop is another file location. In On this desktop, we have created the Word document, shortcut to the Word document, which is found in another mm -hmm. folder. So we want to see the extension, you know, to make the extension of the file, which is this Word document, which is inside this Word document visible. So to do that, uh, you open the Explorer and then you go to view. So remember, this is the file explorer where all the files are kept. Uh, let me show you how to actually access file explorer before we go. This is the window. You can just type file explorer in the window search, like file explorer. Explorer. Yeah, file explorer. You can see it is there is the system. So from this file explorer, you can share, you can view, you can access any file in the system. Like in our case, we want to access the file which is found in the document folder. And that file is found in the document folder which is inside the, in the, 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 the document folder, Word document inside the document folder rather. So once you are here, basically you will be inside the file explorer, you know, so when you go to home you will see a lot of information for the file explorer but the most important one here is creating new file when you click this one you will create a new folder you know and and then you can create new file inside that folder or move this for this this word a copy of this word document let us actually create a new folder there and say copy copy of word document so this is a new folder we can make a copy of this word document by the right click copy and then right click on the copy folder and then paste in there but before we do that let us check to see if something is there you can see there's nothing we are inside this uh, copy word document folder there's nothing inside it so we click this arrow to go back one step and we are here so we we have copied this word document we want to paste it inside the copy of word document folder to do that you right click and then paste yeah so we have pasted the copy of this word document inside here so when you open it we are inside the copy of word document folder and the file which is there is that word document file so when you click it, you find that it's the same file that we created previously. And it is the same file that is found inside the Word document here. So this Word document now contains a folder and a file. So from here, <clears throat> we want to see the extension of this file. Or if the extension of the folder exists, we also want to see. So to do that, to expose the visibility of the file extension or the folder extension you go to the the view you select the view uh, menu of the file explorer and then on here you will see group by you can group by name group by date modified you can do a lot of grouping of the file there but the most important thing that i want you to see is the show high here we want to show the file name extensions 
file name extensions. You see, the file name extension. Look, just take a look at this. Without choosing, selecting any of the box, you can see the word documents is written like word document. This is the name of our file, word document. But the extension of this word document will be appended by a dot and then the extension. So when we click inside this box here, file name extension, that extension will be appended here. So you watch, watch now. I'm going to click file extension, file name extension, and watch what will happen here after the word document. Okay, I'm going to click it now. One, two, three, click. You see, this is now the file extension of this file. You see, now the file extension is visible. And also, we can make it invisible by deselecting it. So let us leave it like that for now and go inside the Word document. You will see that the same change has taken place throughout, throughout the file. Because when you open any file now, you will see the extension of that file. That, my friend is how to make file extension visible. So to get rid of it, you just deselect that box and then the file extension disappear. But we want to make it there because the, the purpose for this video is for you to see the extension of the file. So that is it, my friend. That is how to show our hide file extension. And I hope this video has been informative. What to take home from this particular video is how to hide the file extension and how to show the file extension and to note that file extension is appended to the file name by using a dot and then file extension. File extension determines the type of the file that, our, uh, that we have in our system. For example, this is a Word document and the type is the word document. The type of the file will be the word. You see, dot x is, is, is the word document. And uh, another thing that you can do on this window, I just wanted to show you uh, some summary. You know, when you go to home of the file explorer, what you're seeing here is file explorer. And we are inside the folder of the word document. So you can, you can copy, you can, you know, you can delete files, you can, you know, create new folders, you can check on the properties, the histories, you can select everything, you can do the backup for the file from here as well. You can also share the file, this, similar, this same file or folder, you can share it from here, you can check the access, which is going to be our next topic, and then you can view the file in different view. For example, if you want to see the big icon, you can say large icons, you see, and, and it will change the icons of the file and the folder. Extra large, you can make it extra large, you can make it small, you can, you know, you can make it like a tile, you can see the content, you know, the content includes the author of the file, which is me, the date the file has been pre-modified and even the size of the file. So you can see how useful this file explorer is, you know, to get details about the file. For example, if you want to know who created the file, just go to the content and you will see the authors there. And when it was created, you will also see it there. So this is how to expose uh, details about the file, you know, and then uh, you can hide, you know, you can hide the details by just clicking this bit here, you know, and then put it on. Hi. Expose. Hi. Expose. So, yeah, that is it, my friend. I will see you in the next video. Happy learning.